Hi guys, lovely to see you all again. I wanted to get back into doing some more solo builders. Today we're going to be looking at a B minor pentatonic, but we're going to riddle it with chromatic and outside notes so you can start including that into your playing. Let's take a look at the lick. Okay, so I want to talk a bit about the premise of uh, what I just did there. Essentially, I'm playing a basic B minor pentatonic in a descending manner, which is this. A cheeky tab if you need it. And then all I'm doing is in between all of those notes that are in key, I'm just playing chromatic notes to fill out the distance between whatever I've got between my pointer and my pinky or my ring finger. So we're going to end up with something like this. Bear with me, it's kind of revolting. Tab as well. So there's a number of circumstances this kind of works, whether you're sort of drifting in, in and out of sort of a Dorian sound or a Phrygian sound, or you want to use uh, a cheeky flat five or just any sort of passing chromatic note. Uh, this is a good way to start practicing how to incorporate it into your playing. So now that we've got a rough idea of what we're doing. I'm going to start off with this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm going to start off by playing nine, 10, nine, seven, all is rolling legato on the first string. And then I'm resolving that to 10 of the second string. Then I go. So what I've got there is I'm going seven, eight, seven as a hammer on pull off, and then jumping to 10 of the second. What I have there is a minor second there. So that's sort of getting that B and C Phrygian relationship, but you will notice like Stevie Ray Vaughan will use that note as sort of a cheeky passing as well. So this is what we've got thus far. I'm going to do exactly the same thing from the second to the third string. So I'll slow that down. I'm going 9, 10, 9, 7 as rolling legato. Jumping to the cheeky flat 5 on 10 of the third. And then I'm going 7, 8, 7 on the second string and then jumping back to the flat 5. And this has more of that kind of... That kind of dime bag sound as well. So we're getting a lot of different plays in this uh, just from accenting those different notes. You'll sort of start to hear why and how these guys get away with it. So this is what we should have thus far. Okay, very similar idea. I'm gonna be rolling around this cheeky flat five. I'm gonna play nine, 10, nine, seven, again on the third string this time, but I'm gonna to jump to nine of the four. From that point, what I'm doing here is I'm playing uh, seven, eight, seven on the third string and then jumping to nine of the four. Kind of reminds me of that Red Hot Chili Peppers. That gets used a lot, and uh, Jimi Hendrix and Brian May will use that uh, cheeky, uh, whatever it is. It's drifting kind of between the major and the minor third, and it sounds really, really cool in the blues context, but uh, we're just do using it in a fun chromatic way today. So we've got... Um, this is what we should have thus far. Hopefully that's making sense. And then just to finish it off, I continued the gag a little bit further. I'm going to play eight, nine, eight, seven on the fourth. And then play nine of the fifth. Should potentially look at my hands occasionally. That's better, Chris. And then the next thing I went is seven, eight, seven on the fourth, and then jump back to nine of the fifth again. Okay. I'm going to do a very similar idea on the fifth string now. I'm going to go eight, nine, eight, seven, rolling legato, and then jump to 10 of the six. At the end of that, I'm going to go seven, eight, seven on the fifth. We're going to be highlighting that cheeky flat five, going to 10, and then just resolving on that B note on seventh fret of the sixth string. All right, let's take the whole thing at a gentleman's pace from the start, and then we'll do it again, even slower with some tabs. More time with some tabs. And that was my B minor pentatonic lick riddled with outside notes. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did like that, uh, please check out my book, Ultimate Shred Machine. It has a bunch of exercises on shredding, legato, sweeping, and tapping. It is a doozy, and if you can click the links in the description box to my Facebook group, my Patreon, and if you want to check out my Udemy Modes course, uh, that will be most delightful as well. So there's much of Chris to enjoy across the board. Anyway, I'll catch you guys all very soon. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.